welcome to the ROR online show for 2020. So many activities cancelled this year, but instead of saying, well, we won't do anything, we thought, I'll tell you what, let's make it even bigger and better because geography doesn't matter. So we opened it up to X racehorses from around the world and were rewarded with 297 entries from as far afield as Australia, New Zealand, Hong Kong and the USA. They're spread over 30 classes. Thank you so much to everyone who has sent in their videos and congratulations, you're doing a terrific job with former racehorses, making sure that they've got a, a really successful and fulfilling life. Now let's hand you over to the show's compare, Nick Wood, who has all the results. Thank you, Claire. And once again, a very good morning. I'm Nick Wood and a very warm welcome to the second day of the ROR online show. A special thank you to Tattersalls, Goffs, the Thoroughbred Breeders Association and the Jockey Club for their unstinting support of the ROR over the last 20 years. So continuing with the ridden classes, we now move to class number 16, the ROR Hunter Type Ridden, kindly sponsored by Tom, Marquand and Holly Doyle, judged by Mandy and Mike Bulby and Sarah Gorman. and Alice Reese, beautifully turned out, a lovely big horse. The only thing I will say is if you're in a hunter type class, you should wear a plain brow band rather than a coloured brow band. Imperial Ruby, ridden by Sar Cassidy Hill, appears to be a manly and settled horse with a nice flowing action. Major Mac, ridden by Lucinda Sims, is beautifully turned out, has a lovely head carriage and a nice flowing movement. Dreamy George and Poppy Shepherd, a nice compact square horse, nicely turned out with some bone. Festive Fair and Poppy Shepherd, this horse seems mannerly on this occasion by being in a snaffle bridle. It's a nice big horse, covers the ground nicely. Again, the only thing I would say is if you're in a hunter type class is to be wearing a plain brow band rather than a coloured. Shooting Star and Janine Midgley, Moving nicely forward, covering the ground, a really nice hunter type. Sixth place, number 363, Imperial Ruby and Sar Cassidy Hill. Fifth, number 133, Shooting Star and Johnny Midgley. Fourth, number 145, Dreamy George and Poppy Shepherd. Third, number 197, Sawago and Alice Reese. And second, number 331, Major Mac and Lucinda Sims, a combination who've already enjoyed several top three placings. And our winner, number 293, Festive Fair and Poppy Shepherd. Also here at the online show with Dreamy George, but it is Festive Fair who wins this class, the ROR Hunter Type for Poppy Shepherd. This eight-year-old gelding by Teofilo, formerly trained by Charlie Appleby for Godolphin. He ran nine times on the flat, winning three races and over £64,000 in prize money. Class 17, the ROR Sport Horse Ridden, kindly sponsored by Alan King Racing Limited and judged by Lucy and Mike Felton. Sixth, number 345, King Cave and Tina Howard. Fifth, number 309, Bay Sly and Heidi Brookshaw. Fourth, to number 143, Water Buzz and Laura Knight. Third, number 133, Shooting Star and Johnny Midgley. And second, number 124, Morland's Mist and Sarah Ender. And our winner, and congratulations to number 227, Over Africa and Sarah Fogg. Over Africa is a 14-year-old gelding by Overbury, formerly trained by Lauren Reed. He ran over 50 times split between point-to-points and races under rules. 
Class number 18, ROR Always a Star Ridden. Kindly sponsored by Seven Burrows, the home and base of National Hunt training maestro, Nikki Henderson. Judged by Tracy Bailey. Caravan rolls on, 258. This is a really attractive horse. It's a great photo. The horse is stepping out, good movement, pointing the toe, very well presented. Zarkanda, he's got an attractive frame, really attractive way of looking through the bridle, nice relaxed walk, good stride on him, nice straight action, very powerful quarters. Five nine precedence. Um, he's been really well turned out. He has a lot of presence. He's got a good top line on him. Good muscle definition. This is Linton three one six. Um, he's got a really attractive way of going. He's got a lovely, well balanced carriage. A good step on him. He actually looks like a really comfortable ride um, and a, an attractive head about him. He just looks like a very sensible gentleman. 301 cue card. I would say this is my classic example of a thoroughbred. He's got the elegance and grace but with the strength and power. He's got super length of rein, good top line, beautifully turned out, great skin, good stride, good straight movement, nice clean limbs, and very attractive head. I love the shoulder on the horse. To me, this horse looks like it'd be a really comfortable, well-balanced ride. Sixth place, numbers 316, Linton and Jody Soul. Fifth, number 333, Zakanda and Lucinda Sims. Zakanda, who uh, with close to one million prize money on the track, was the earlier winner of the Always a Star in Hand class. Fourth, number 259, Precedence and Fiona McIntyre. Third, number 258, Caravan Rolls On, and also ridden by Fiona McIntyre. And in second place, number 301, Q Card and Chris Hannibal. Q Card, the hugely successful horse with a great public profile, and our winner, and very well done to number 263, Winning Mascot and Mary Copeman. Winning Mascot is a 13 year old Irish bred gelding by Marju. In Hong Kong, he was trained by Michael Chang. Mm -hmm. 